today I am here in Nishinomiya, which is the home of Haruhi Suzumiya. This is where it's set, and today I'm going to be going to lots of locations from the show and seeing them for myself. And luckily, right now, there just happens to be a promotion on where there's a specified app that you can download, and it shows you where all these places are, and there's a little stamp rally, whatever. So, I'm going to go and complete that today, and we're just drawing up to the first location. I can't make it up, but as soon as I arrive at the first location, it starts having issues with the server. I took one picture, which I'll be showing them all here, and then it's just gone. So, this is a nice place to walk around at least, but hopefully it picks up soon. All right, I have my first stamp from the shrine. You can see that's now filled in. I don't know what happens when I get all five, but I'm doing it today. So there's actually five main stamps that are the main attractions. And then there's like 20 spots around town, which are like just miniature places. And that was the main one. But because there's only two more in this area that are like the mini ones, I'm gonna head over there first. And there's like 20, so it's probably too much to see all today. I'm gonna see these two, then focus on completing my stamp collection. And then I'll go from there and see what time it is. I think this is supposed to be the next one, right up this staircase. And there we go. It's a lovely view from here. Huh? All right, so I don't think all of these are from the show, um, kind of clearly now. But this is still a lovely place to come to and like, I love the view here, and I'd have never come here if this app didn't say, hey, have a look at this thing from the war. And it's like, said what that is. I can't remember it, but it's gonna be on screen now. So, let's go. No golf here, how my dad will be very disappointed. I'm not gonna complain. So there we go, that's the second AR point. And as you can see on the screen, it says in Japanese, but I've got it translated. It's a wonderful view on the bridge side, a little walk down, even though I'm not heading in that direction. And it is, it is gorgeous. So those two AR points are very worth going to, which actually makes me very tempted to go to every single one. But I might be here till 10 p.m. But I guess that's probably fine. Okay, so just check the map. I'm gonna put it on the screen. And now I've done all I can on this side, unless I wanna go really north, which I don't right now. So, all right, I've decided I'm putting the gimbal away. I'm going to make this walk. So I looked up on Google, it looks really nice. So, signing myself up to four hours of walking right here. All right, I'm coming up to the next point now and there is no road. Well, there's no footpath anyway, there's a road where we're going. Interesting little journey we're going on. It's exciting. And it's like, I think the first place I'm going is like a park. So I'm not just going to get to the park and then turn around. So I think I need to find a convenience store. <laughs> so I believe this is the next area. I don't know how to get to exactly where it wants me to be. Well, I suspect it's across this path, which looks very interesting. So let's give it a go. All right, that was it. <laughs> That's where it wanted me to go. And I got to see some lovely ducks. Part of this is the Harare tour. There's the five main ones, but it's just also kind of showing interesting spots around the city, which is like, I'm never going to see any of these things by myself. So I absolutely love this. I'm going to go and see this last one up top. And then I think a lot of the other ones are more clustered together. This is really like the outskirts. And we'll get onto some more Harahi soon. We've got, I think it's two stops away, three stops away is next Harahi thing. So we'll get into it, we'll get into it. So 
So this is all an uphill route. This is the Joan feeling walking to school. I don't know where the school is. I don't know if it's on this list, but certainly feeling like it on this warm day. Almost there. This is very uphill. This is the hour way I've been planning for. I hope it's worth it. I'm here, and that was a hell of a lot of sweating. And I regret wearing my sandals once again. I didn't expect to be taking a route like this today. But here I am, and here we are. And this is the wrong way, this is just a graveyard. Back we go. Now I've walked all the way up here, there is no chance. I'm not saying everything I can here before I leave. That's probably gonna take another hour, but like, that walk was grueling. That was like practically uphill for like a few minutes as part of a five hour walking day. So I'm gonna enjoy this and then we'll get back to Harley. Yeah, I think I can have an ice cream as a reward. I'm gonna sit down. I've been to the toilet and I'm refreshed. So now it's time to enjoy the view that I feel like this bridge is gonna have a pretty amazing one. There we go. The sounds here, the view. This is worth coming for. So I thought I had a few minutes ago. It's an obvious one. But it's that the world really is just boundless. And you can never see it all. I would never have come to a park like this despite it being beautiful nice and fun because I'd, I'd have no way of finding out about it if I didn't download a random app because I read a ran random manga however many years ago and now I'm here and that's incredible maybe this is for me but just the coincidences that line up but then this place clearly isn't made just for any of those purposes there's these autumn art sculptures on side to side but this is some cool place that's been specifically crafted and I'm just here like hey I like this anime and it said go here so why not so yeah, I think this app's a very good thing. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough time to do everything in one day. I might have to come back. I have another week in Osaka. Scary. Stay away from that. There's a good view hiding behind these trees. You just can't make it. <laughs> Holy, they said they had an observation deck here. I'm guessing this is it because, damn. This is without a doubt one of the best observation decks I've ever seen. You can just see spiraling cityscape forever. You can see the baseball field. You can see the planes in the sky mountains in the distance and maybe that's even not so correct though i don't know i spoke to a japanese person here from they very proud of vaguely understood each other and they did say that is indeed can you see on the camera there okay your camera can't really make it out but i can just about see osaka like the station so dot and boy i can see where i'm staying and that's incredible But as amazing as the view is, I haven't brought any food or drink to have here. It feels like an amazing place to have a picnic. But I still have a lot of places on my list left. This is, I've only done four of the 19 things I came here to do. This one clearly takes the most time, but it was definitely worth it. So I definitely want to see everywhere on this list because I doubt anywhere is going to be as impressive as this. But I mean, if there's a chance, that's incredible. But Haruhi has, Haruhi has given me this view. Thanks, Haruhi. I'm just gushing. This video is meant to be about all the horror heat locations and I'm just having fun, but whatever. I've started walking this way and then decided that doesn't look like a good route for my current footwear. Okay, so this is a museum and a university this way. So I guess this is the path we have to take. Now I have to choose which way to go. 
This way looks better. And I have found delicious, delicious tarmac. I was only slightly worried there because of a previous experience of never getting trapped somewhere like that. But I could tell that there was man-made things everywhere. So I felt confident to keep going. And there is tarmac. So I can continue on my journey in the arms of man. It's a very interesting university grounds I'm just walking past. Almost at the Shinkansen Memorial Park, and I'm realizing this is one of the longest times I've gone in Japan without seeing a convenience store. This definitely ties with the other time I went walking around the middle of nowhere. All right, park scene. Now we can finally go to the pond that Makuru got thrown in at. Looking up, I also realized it was like 60% to rain today, the weather forecast. So that's probably gonna happen at some point, and I'm lucky it hasn't happened so far. I'd rather it happen while I'm in the city than uh, in the muddy place I was earlier, good God. And just as I said it, almost as soon as I stopped recording, the slightest drops of rain have started to fall now. If it stays like that, that's actually lovely. Almost there. And of course, the massive hill right at the end. And there it is. <laughs> it's getting dark, I've spent that long. Two stamps down, three to go. I think we just gotta beeline them now. <laughs> Let's get these before it gets dark. It's probably not possible, we can try. Correction, I've checked the map and it's definitely not possible. But we're still going for as much as we can. And now we finally find the rain. And my sandals have proven a bad choice for today after all. There we are, there's the sign. This is the cafe. Thanks to my wandering, it's closed. So I was gonna get something to drink here, but that clearly will not be possible. Um, <laughs> uh, slightly unfortunate, but I am not sad in the slightest. Still that's one AR spot down, and there are three more in this area, so rapid fire. I'm not entirely sure we're supposed to take the photo up there, but I'm guessing it's the river. And it looks nice, that's good. So there's two points I'm going between now. One is a park, one is the baseball stadium, I think. And that's 45 minutes. So in this video, it's just going to be bam, bam, probably. But this is still a long walk in the night. And I thought, and I think I will come back, I would like to try that cafe. I said, nah, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered I didn't do it today. While I'm in Japan, I can't not. And here it is, the Mambo Tunnel. I thought this is where I was going to be getting under the railroad tracks. But if I just walk up to this, there we are. Ugh, just about to and get through, but <laughs> I think, I think, unless Google Maps tells me to, I'm good. If it does, I will. Okay, yep, so actually, looking at the map, this is the only way for me to get through for quite a while. So, here we go. Look at this. <laughs> What is this? This is actually the Google Maps path to get under here. Like, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> this is worth doing because I should have done that anyway because it's just hilarious that that's what I have to do. Wow. I'm very glad that I've just decided to do everything on this route because there's no way I would have found that or gone through that in a million years if I was at Ledge right here. And then I saw it and I was like, yeah, I kind of don't want to, but it was a bit of fun, wasn't it? I just wanted to make sure you could, because something's like historical, you know, and you're a bit naughty for going through them. But no, then before and after I went through, was I, after I'd recorded saying, oh, I don't know if I want to, I saw Japanese people going through. So this is just normal. So unique Lawson's there. It's been baseball, it's pretty big here. So I'm going to the baseball stadium. It's never close. And now while we're on our way to the stadium, there are two mini 
further opportunities. This is the first station and then we'll get to the next. So apparently what we're looking for around here is a manhole that's special somewhere. That's the photo, I don't think that's much on the planet yet, considering most of them look like this, but it's not one of the main attractions. So I'm satisfied that there's a fancy shop here. Oh, and I guess that's pretty cool outside. Um, yeah, that'll do. Maybe I'll find it. Oh, is that it? Is that it? I mean, okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. That must be it, okay. Lovely. Yep, definitely a game on. Baseball is not something we hear about in the UK. But it's uh, interesting that I happen to walk past one with a game on. Today was a good day to come, apparently. All right, with that, I've got four stamps. I haven't plugged in with the next place yet. This is another AR spot this way. So we'll get that, and then we'll be at the end of the journey almost. Well, I don't know how long it's going to be. The next spot is a shrine, but I can't quite see how to get in from here. I'll have a little look around, but I feel like it might be closed off because of the game on. And like the Hari app is giving like, little things about all these areas. Like I said, this has become, you know, the shrine that was here before the baseball stadium. It's now like the shrine for baseball players to go to. to. So it's cool that it uh, gives more information on the area. I've, I've looked up while I had a little break earlier. But there is like a Harahi tour of this place. And I know that now seeing this, it, most of the places I'm going to are not related to Harahi. And this life is fun. I've had a lovely day. So I don't really mind that, but it means I probably am going to come back again and do like the actual Harahi tour. And here we go. There is the shrine. Okay, so this is half an hour away. There's two AR spots I can make on the way. It's probably going to get extra 10 minutes. From then, I will have two AR spots left. But they are in the absolute opposite direction, back towards the station. I don't know if I need to go to that station to get home or if I can use one of the other ones. So my aim currently to get my stamps done, then worry about that. If I have to go three hours in that direction for the last year, I'll probably leave it. But oh, we're so close. Nice standing park. Just not the weather all the time to appreciate it. It's not raining again. But it's nice. Here we are at the last lit up location. It's quite nice. And there's this uh this train. Go and have a little look at This is the final stop for the stamps, anyway. It seems I can exchange this completed stamp card. I have no idea where, but that was a thing. And I'm guessing it's going to be closed at what nine. So I barely believe it. I've just looked on the app and found that there's another button. There's a Fushimi button, which is like what I've been exploring today. And then there's a pilgrimage map, which I think might be the more horror-y bits. So I've just, I've enjoyed what I've done today. And I'm, I, look, I found 15 out of 20 spots found. But there is still much yet to do. And I don't know where I'm supposed to get this prize. If there's even any left. And frankly, searching for that on my phone seems quite hard. So I've just sat on my phone for the last 10 minutes, trying to figure out where this prize thing is. And I cannot figure it out. And now I found out there's other stuff to do here. I've seen on the app as well, I've got 16 out of 20 of the spots. Um, I'm a bit afraid. It's 9 p.m. I think for today, we're done. I think I want to come back another day, finish it off and go to the cafe and maybe I'll come to the later. And as you can see, a week later, I did make that return journey and it was a fantastic day. So feel free to check that out. And as always, thanks for watching.